Right, hello guys, welcome. Let me just unmute my commentary partner tonight. Resumed. Ah, there we go. So, this is the ESL EU MKXL Community Cup, and we have our first semi final good to go. Just going to get everything set up while we uh, get prepared right here. But I'm uh, going to quickly go give my partner in crime a little bit of a poke. Ah, there we go. How's it going, Mitsu Owens? Are you right? <laughs> here I am. How's it going, man? Good to be back. Yeah, not too bad. I feel like I need to do a smoother way to transition this, but either way, I think it's all right. Uh, we made so, it. yes, indeed. <laughs> we have our first semi final ready to go. Um, just going to double check the progress on our second. But our first one's going to be uh, Vichyaz versus Zoro. So that's going to be interesting to see. And yeah, it looks like we're still waiting on the second semi final, but those guys are playing their final games to determine that. So. By the time we do the first one, I'm pretty sure we should be ready uh, to go on the others. So, while we get this King of the Hill up and running and ready to go, let me just give you guys a bit of an insight as to what this is. The ESL EU Community Cup is a means for players all around EU to take part in a Sunday tournament every single week. And every single week, the top four is streamed on this Twitch. Normally, it's Mustard and myself, but he's away seeing his lovely lady friend this weekend. And because of that, I'm joined by Mitsu Owens, who is a fantastic step in you know like it's always good having you back here and it's nice to have you back again appreciate it so i'm going to quickly get this king of the hill up and running um because we do actually have our first semi-final ready to go already and i will invite you right now so our first semi-final is going to be vichyaz who is i believe a russian player uh, judging by his flag in the play website and also uh the second player is going to be pariah zorro and for those that may not know, Zoro is actually a UK player, and interestingly, like, he's been sort of, I guess, up and down um, when it comes to success in the UK, but I think closer to the, the end of the game, or the later end of the game in the UK, he actually has been doing quite well. Uh, we had Versus Fighting last year, which was one of the last big uh, UK majors. He actually did take top eight there and took out my brother, Mustard. So uh, there was definitely some revenge that needed to be had there. But uh, other than that, yeah, he played really, really well. I believe he played Kotal Khan back in the day. Let me just see. Are you currently appearing offline? Uh, yes, sorry. Totally no, no, that's fine. I, I can I can see you anyway. It's no right. problem. Right, so the in invites have been sent out. I just want to remind everyone who our current champion is. Last week's tournament was actually won by H-Dope who is uh, the brother of Ktop, those two guys over in Greece sort of killing it really, uh, doing really well in the Community Cups every single week. I believe they actually only have one PS4 between them, so they actually uh, mix and match among themselves and take it in turns to enter. But the weeks they do enter, they actually tend to win and take the whole thing, so it's quite impressive really. Um, and he used all Leatherface. There was one matchup where he went to Alien for one game, but other than that, pretty much all Leatherface. And as I said, man, it's max damage. That's how you maximize playing this character. Um, just just make sure when you touch someone you do as much damage as possible and he's really sort of forefronted that have you seen any sort of crazy upsets in the bracket today or is it all kind of business as usual for you I, yeah I think the, that's the way to call it like no huge upsets still it's uh, more or less uh, random brackets but it looks it looks like looks fair um, those who are known and they are no stranger to the league uh, those made it to the top eight Okay, so I do believe we've got Vichaz and Zoro ready to go. So as soon as you're in the King of the Hill, we should be ready to rock. And there you go, yeah. Cool, just waiting for these guys to get in. There we go, just going to jump into the training mode. Zoro using Cybernetic in this button check. I wonder if we, that means we're actually going to see some uh, other characters that we don't see much before. Let's go this side, yep. Okay. So, just going to sit here and wait for things to rock and roll, but I think uh, quite optimistic about this matchup right here. Um, we do not see much of... We haven't seen a whole lot of Zoro. He's been entering these Community Cups, but there's been a couple of instances where he has just kind of, you know, ever so slightly, I guess, fallen short. Um, but he's been getting better each week, and I'm really glad to see him in his first top four. Well, to sort of remind you guys, Zoro, a UK player, did use War God Kotal Khan. Back in the day, you know, um, and I don't know whether he still plays Kotal Khan. I know he was adjusted quite heavily in the patch, but other than that, I mean, he does play multiple characters. It's just Kotal Khan's been his sort of go-to in tournament. The question is, in this tournament, do we think he's going to use somebody else? 
I sure hope so. It would be cool to see some unknown or rarely seen variations in characters. I feel like that's, that's one of the things I really like about these cups, though, is is when you do get people that um, they kind of use these tournaments as a means to e explore and experiment. Just going to go AFK, and yes, here we go. This is going to be the first semi-final of the night in our latest Community Cup, and interestingly, <laughs> just like that, going straight in with Kenshi, who is a character we haven't seen Zoro use before. Vichyaz, we can't forget about this guy either. We did see him, I believe, last week, actually. Um, I believe he fought off against Engila. It was a 3-0 for Engila. He's looking stronger every week. But Vichyaz, a little bit of a Russian scar, I think, playing Demolition, Sonya, and Smoke together. I think I've seen that combination somewhere before. Kenji versus Sonya. Now, historically, some people have said this matchup was actually won by Kenji. Uh, he's got a lot of keypoint tools that favor a matchup like this. But almost immediately, Vichyaz spending that bar, User getting that reversal early. Out. Oh, unfortunately, I believe I actually just lost a uh, Mitsuwones, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, while we wait for him to come back, we're going to commentate this match right there. Nice catch right there. Back one's going to connect, and that's going to be a 50-50 in Possessed. And as I talk about the 50-50s, Vichyaz unfortunately guessing wrong every time, but spending one of those three meters. I was going to question it, but we do see a tag right here. That's going to be a full conversion. Spending the bar on another one. Almost banging away shot, but the reversal connects. And Zoro taking that first round very comfortably. And I think notably taking a lot of meter away from Vichyaz also. The delay into back one. Guessing wrong on the overhead or low again. And as I say it, Nice whiff. Finally getting a block. Trying to go in for a free load, reload, but I think in that case, a little bit unsafe. The reversal is going to be used again, though. I think if you can just land one mix-up in this situation, but unfortunately the reversal is going to make the damage count. And first game, very comfortably User going to Zoro. So, I don't know whether you'll believe it, Mitzwones. This was actually a ridiculously fast game number one. <laughs> You missed Wait, game what one. Happened? It's already over. It's already over. Z Zoro oh. won the first game. Well, that was Can quick. I invite you? Yeah, Can please. Can I invite you, actually? How do you do it? Oh, L2. I wonder if I can quickly, like, speedily do this. Don't worry, guys. You're not seeing anything. He was here the whole time. Quick! Machine gun it! <laughs> uh, I still hear Sonya. Sonya's still been picked. No problem. There you go. Okay. So I've just re-invited you. Uh, unfortunately, you're probably going to miss this game, but... I think if Vichyaz can make it 1-1, one, one, then you're not going to miss too much of the set, fingers crossed. Okay, on my way. Sorry about that, by the way. Well, that's fine. It's the nature of online, isn't it? Sometimes you'll disconnect. Unfortunately. Now, almost immediately. That's really important. Vichyaz not only secured that first hit, but Zoro had actually spent one of those bars. So this is going to be a 2-0 meter advantage, especially in the corner. That's where it's going to be especially prominent. Hit confirming into the stun grenade. Dropping the combo, though, but I think in this situation... Not too much of a heartbreaker. Now that's going to be a safe reload. Zoro probably expecting some pressure. Jumping in the anti-cross up down two. On the money every single time if you're going to play Sonya. Another combo drop though. Giving Zoro room to breathe but it's a lot of work at this point. And the NJP. Very clean. Very comfortable neutral jump punch there. But Shaz taking the round. Very dominant fashion but three bars to two. Both these characters, I mean, ultimately that's what Kenshi's going to spend his meter on right there. The, the reversal is safe on block, very hard to deal with. Um, as you can see right there, you know, two out of two times she's used it, it's been good. The anti-air down too, just try and steal that momentum away from Vichyaz and was not ready for the teleport. I don't think Zoro was ready for it to connect though. That's a really good, yeah, that's a fantastic trade for Zoro. Notoriously hard to armor break moves like that, but I think with so many attacks coming out at one time, the down two connects and that's free reload. Keep away game as we see. The back forward two. Very clean push away. But the dive kick connects. And the corner. This is where the mix-ups are going to come from. Another combo drop though. I think the more he drops these combos, the more he's going to live to regret it later on. Are we going to see an x-ray? Three bars. Sonya players do like to spend it. Oh, and there it is. Zoro is not going to have meter to break this one. Um, I wonder actually, we need to see the grenade count. Two grenades. We could actually see death right here. No, a combo drop. Vichyaz dropping it once again. Walk back into back one. Finally blocks the 50-50. Now, if Vichyaz doesn't drop this, this might be death. Knockdown. What's the pressure afterwards? Oh! I don't even know what I saw right there. The dive kick connects. Vichyaz back in this one. It's going to be one game apiece. All right, I do believe Mitsuwones is now back in, so we should be able to both see this next match. I, I am, and I'm re-watching this. Last game, and that was pretty clutch.
<laughs> yeah, I think it was played really well. Not gonna it lie. It was. It was. Back into Kenshi. I think ultimately um, the defense was good. It was just Vichyaz. I actually probably could have taken those rounds a bit faster. Uh, yeah, those combo drops. Nailed those cost yeah, exactly, exactly. I think especially if you're playing his demolition, if you drop a combo, you're also I think sacrificing your ability to reload those grenades safely. Yeah, it's not only about the damage, but the setup. You need those grenades at Sonya. Oh yeah, absolutely. He knows especially that. Especially post patch. Okay, so we're straight back in this. Zoro looked incredibly comfortable in that first game, but not so comfortable in game number two. And again, history repeats itself. Zoro spending a bar, and I think in this situation with Vichyaz having three Ooh. bars to Zoro's none, that's quite important. Not breaking though, opting to keep the bar. Yeah, this is... Oh, wait a minute though! Uh, I, do do we agree with that or not, Mr. Owens? I'm not I, quite I'm, sure. I'm not going to question it. He has a he has the grenade as well, so he can. Oh, oh well, no! <laughs> Spending three bars and dropping the combo. Ultimately, that is really what. Oh, that's that unfortunate. Sucks. <laughs> so that's um probably the most expensive combo drop of his life, right there. I think. Yeah, it's it's also his second time now. He's two out of two dropped his X-ray combo, which is never good. Now, I think uh, Zoro's going to have to be really careful. I know he caught the jump right there, but he's going to have to be really careful. If Vichyaz is out of grenades, I'm assuming he's actually going to wait for Zoro to try and go for a teleport. Because that's going to give him a free reload. It's not even about the damage at that point. The 50-50 again. The counter poke Ooh. into reversal. Now, that was an expensive mistake. Getting caught by the NJP. Is that even going to be a brutality? Nah, just fling him over the head. Uh, I can see now why that first game was quick so, so fast, like, I guess. Yeah, I think it was, um, <laughs> well, what well, the big mistake there was just dropping the x-ray combo. I mean, if you drop the x-ray combo right there, it's, it's meager damage. It's meager damage plus no, like all your meat are gone and then you lose the round on that. And then you're dealing with possessed Kenshi where the armored art kick is a very attractive option at dealing with some of that keep away on a good read. And if you're dropping that, then, you know, ultimately it's a massive waste of resources. Now, this pick is very intelligent. I think going in for smoke is a good idea. You've got the counter zoning, you've got reaction teleports. Probably not so much in this matchup though, because um, it's more tracking projectiles than traditional projectiles. But nonetheless, I do think Smoke is a better pick for this matchup. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I agree, absolutely. Um, keeps him in check more or less as well with the smoke bombs. Yeah. And well, also the question see. is, how much how much smoke matchup knowledge is Zoro likely to have? I don't know if I've ever seen him fight this character, and unfortunately, I do not know what that was. And here comes Probably the pressure. Probably a fade. Not sure. The down one, I think Zoro ready for that to connect. Now the back two one hit confirm into Spear. What comes next? The jump punch. Alright. Some good Oki off this. Wow, wake up is that? I do wake believe. Up. Yeah, I, I think that might have been an overhead attempt, but he didn't get the oh, meter burn. Because that was definitely buttons. a wake up overhead. Yeah, it was, absolutely. I think a major problem I think um, Zoro is completely capitalizing on is how often Vichyaz is just pressing buttons on wake up and the teleport gets hit by the Mia burn forcing the break wait this is clutch oh, oh he no. bet it all he bet it all yeah a little bit of a predictable one right there I think he probably anticipated some kind of projectile he was going to eat up granted if the teleport connected that was going to be the round for Vichyaz so it was definitely a calculated risk but I think Zoro just patient and ready for it finally a grab didn't see those too much well, I think Smoke in particular, he's going to get a lot of grabs, especially with how many mids he's got. It's very risky to neutral crouch him because if you try and neutral crouch Smoke, that's a back two, that's a forward four, like full combos all over the place. Speaking of which, oh, another drop. Vichyaz execution, definitely his worst enemy right now. Needs every single percent of damage. I would definitely agree. And all now right. that is very important, actually. Uh, that's going to completely evade. Another drop, no. It's not what you need now. Okay. Those twelve percent are what you need. <laughs> but a wake up push. No me. I guess why not? I think Vichyaz was totally timid to try and anti-air that. Walking right into the back one! This is a bit of a scramble! This is chip at this point. Alright, alright. <laughs> okay. That but was definitely uh it was a, a bit of a scramble. It was <laughs> absolutely qualified scramble, but then again, final round, but it's still set point for Zoro, so Oh, no confirm into the back one, though. Just letting the back one go raw. That would have been a full combo. Had he gone for the smoke bomb. Counter poke's good. Waiting for the reverse, but not quite. Another combo drop from Vichyaz. Probably trying to do the forward 1-3, but doing it a little bit too early. More pressure. Very That's nice. going to be a full combo. No bar on the side of Zoro. He Don't might not even it. build a bar by the end of this round, actually. Oh, the challenge! Oh, the down one. Down one. 
All right, gets it. Okay, maybe that wasn't even a bad uh, drop. Oh, that's a yeah, definitely unsafe. Could have got more than a down one, but I think at this point he'll just take the plus frames. Down one again. Walk back. Nice. Really indeed. nice knowledge there. Yeah, the back one into 50-50 can actually be uh, reversed and gone through. Tries to back dash. Oh. Yeah. Um. I think it came down to uh, VGS just just pressing too many buttons on wake up. Oh, I completely agree. I think uh, it's just not defending enough. Yeah, absolutely um, not. Being way, way, way too easy to just go. You know what? I'm just gonna block this. But against Kenshi, where his meaties are very hard to mess up, uh, you, you really have to hold that stuff. Um, you just can't sit there and block all day. You, we can't sit there and just try and run away. If you've been knocked down by Kenshi, if you're smoke, you can probably benefit much harder from just waiting your turn. And the second you see your time to strike, that's when you need to go for your reversals. That's when you need to go for your smoke away, whatever. Um, ultimately, don't try and rush your turn. That's the lesson that we learned today. It was very interesting. On his own wake up, he tried to press a lot of buttons, but if he had his opponent on the ground, he did meaty. Like, it was very interesting. It should be the other way around, or at least balance it. Um, but then again, it is Kenshi with a bar. He's very hard to deal with, I guess, but would have loved to see a few more meaties. Right, so we're going to get this next semi final up and running. Let's check the runnings and see where we're looking at. I do see Mirko in the bracket, so did Mirko secure himself another top four? We're surprised if he not. He has indeed. All right, so we're going to have another bit of a run back right here. Um, when I say run back, it's going to be two returning faces. Mirko versus Mr. Kiznikov. And I completely understand that Kiznikov is not how you pronounce it. And someone even tried to <laughs> correct me in a YouTube comment. And I remembered. And then I forgot. So I'm going to say this wrong. And I apologize wholeheartedly for my bad <laughs> pronunciation of Russian names. So let's get these guys into the king of the hill. I do have everyone added actually at this point, which makes life a lot easier. Right, so let me go. I've got. <coughs> got me. Mr. Kislikov. Mirko, where are you? There you are. Then I'll find you as well. Nice, there we go. Invitations have been sent. So, this Wait. next semi-final we have up and coming. It's going to be Mirko, Mr. Kiznikov. So, I'm assuming uh, Katana versus Scorpion. I don't really know how Katana favors too much in that matchup these days. I would think Scorpion, as a base, will have, I guess, answers for her full screen game. However, how is he going to handle her pressure? That's when it changes. Because Scorpion players like to jump, right? Like, he's got very good air normals. However, there is a golden rule when dealing with Katana, which is don't jump under any circumstances. <laughs> that is true, and I'm pretty sure that if it will be Katana versus Scorpion, that Mirko will behold that rule, I guess, and won't jump too much. Okay, so I guess we're just going to have to wait for these guys to join. Once mm -hmm. again, though, for those newer players, or those in Twitch chat that have not seen one of these before, you are watching the latest ESL EU. MKXL Community Cup. Every single Sunday, these guys come together from all over EU to play in these online tournaments. And the top four get streamed on our Twitch. It's as simple as that. Um, the winner is sort of that week's champion, I suppose you could say. Last week's champion was H-Dope. Really, really, really good Greek Leatherface player. Uh, he does actually play multiple characters, but recently in these events, Leatherface sort of being his premier character. Um, and really fun to watch. That's what I really like about these... What is up with this music? This is Friendship. this is the official soundtrack. What is this thing on the end? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Anyway, Leatherface is a character we do not see very much of. And I think when it comes to Community Cups, seeing lesser used characters is one thing I really enjoy. Um, and I think it, it, it's a good time for players to do that, you know? To just really experiment and try new things. But I believe we have the players in the King of the Hill. So while I do this, let me just uh, change the gamer tags around once again. So Katana, I mean, it, it, assuming it is Katana, it's either Johnny Cage or Katana. Uh, what matchup do you think, if you, knowing Scorpion as you do, if you saw a Scorpion player and you played Katana or Johnny Cage, what, what, what character do you pick for that matchup? 
I think I would uh, easily pick Johnny. If I had the execution as well, then I would pick Johnny. Pretty sure. Do you think it's just sort of being able to sort of contest with that? I guess generally contest with the neutral. Uh, do you feel like her full screen game is just not going to work too well against Scorpion? Well, Scorpion always has, even though it's hard for him to uh, commit to the to the teleport on hit, he can still cancel it, be safer, and I think that's what we are going to see. So, but with Johnny, he has that forward three, he has that those tools to contest the pressure, so that's why I think Johnny would be the answer for Scorpion in that case. I'd agree with that. I think I'd definitely use Johnny Cage too. Uh, Kisner of actually using uh, Johnny Cage in this button check, so might be trying to get some muscle memory right there. Uh, assuming that might be the matchup he goes for. He's getting these names changed. And yeah, good to go. Bam. Right, so we're going to let Mr. Kizikov do his thing while we wait for this match to be ready. And ultimately, I think the Mirko, Mirko matchup is always quite a tough one. Uh, Mirko characteristically being a very hard player to keep a lid on. I'll be interested to see if Kiznikov can do that. You know, can he contain Mirko and maintain the pressure? You know, force him to make mistakes, force him to do risky anti teleports. That's ultimately been how we've seen people handle Mirko. Uh, patient play, I think, predominantly has been the answer. But Mirko, <laughs> he finds a way. That's, that's what that's what we have been taught over this time is that Mirko will find a way. If he finds a way against us, Johnny. If we're going to see it. Well, I think if there's one character in this game that can smother somebody and bait risky, antsy defensive decisions, Johnny Cage definitely is one of those characters. There is a new but I think only time will tell. We have our second semi-final up and coming. Let me just go AFK. There we go. Good stuff. Mr. Kiznikov fighting off against Mirko. First things first. Apologies, I know I'm completely butchering uh, Kistakov's name. I, I was actually corrected in a YouTube comment, and I forgot how to pronounce it already, which is totally my bad. So I'm butchering it, and there is nothing I can do about it. However, Mr. Kistakov, not going for Katana this time. He is going to be going in for Johnny Cage against Mirko, who, I mean, he's only ever going to use Scorpion. Uh, Hellfire predominantly has used Ninjutsu a couple of times, but Hellfire is really what well, he's famous for at this point. Definitely his bread and butter when it comes to variations. Securing that first hit, very important. Taking the meter away from Kistakov. Johnny Cage now having to run council rather than rely on those force balls. As, you see, as we can see right there, already those cancel teleports against those force balls. And that's what I told you, the Kitana stuff won't probably work. So I totally agree with this pick. Right there, oh, yeah, the sure. slide. If you've got a stronger sort of like, I mean, I know Kitana has a good neutral as well for sure. But I think for this specific matchup, Johnny Cage has good buttons. He has the ability to combo meatlessly as well. Um, and just lay that pressure on thick is how you deal with Mirko, you know. Be aggressive, but also know when to take a step back and bait a mistake. And speaking of mistakes, a couple of combo drops from both these players right now. Mirko disrespecting, and this should be a clean round one. Wait a minute, cancel, that was though. Mirko. That could have been EX, EX teleport. That would have been game, but it, it wasn't that clutch, unfortunately. Uh, okay, round one. Two, so I've been in, informed it's Kuznozov? Kuznozov? Kuznozov. Okay, cool. I, I will try my hardest to remember that. Thank you very much, Twitch chat. But Mr. Kiznozov, taking that first round. I'm having to really try hard here. You have to bear with me. I, I, I saw that. Mirko, though. Hesitate for a second. Laying on, he's laying on that corner pressure. Blocking the down four. That's definitely going to be his turn to press a button. Challenging it with the grab. Now we're going to have to see. Can he keep him in the entire game? That clean it's jumping uncontested. Yeah. Opens him up with that forward two as well. That's going to be a full combo. And now, Kuznozov, the one pressuring, Ooh. disrespecting, full combo. Okay, even on life. Forward two, down two. Oh my god. Right as Mirko pressed a button, it came out. And a clean punish. That should be the round. He can do a breaker though, on this. Yeah, I was about to say, actually. I wonder if he's going to spend it. Now, this is chip. No, there we go. Now, I feel like what happened there. I, I feel like Kuznozov was expecting a grab, right? And Very he possible, was yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why the, the standing four connected. Oh, clean jump. That's an expensive jump in to take. And the punish from Mirko. That's not what you want in this situation. Weed combo. 37, mirrorless. Very good. That was a punish. That was a complete whiff punish. The step back. I actually back. think... Um... 
Oh. Oh wow. I, I don't know if that was intentional. Probably not. Uh, but... but I was about to say, I actually it. really liked the I like the patience there from Mirko, where he waited. Um, he waited, and then we did the forward three for the punish, as you mentioned. Yeah, that was beautiful. He did it into, he did it into meter burn spear just in case, uh, just in case his whiff punish was off. He was whiff punishing with something safe rather than something that was punishable, especially in that situation. A very, very good call. But um, I definitely think Johnny Cage... Well, I was about to say, Johnny yeah. Cage was the pick that we expected. But he does play Katana as well. So in this situation, we can only hope that he's not giving up a free game uh, by going for this character. I mean, we know that Katana, Katana can win this matchup. I believe Dragon actually, um, at KIT, I believe, defeated Red Raptor. Um, and that was a Katana versus... No, was that actually uh, Shinnok? My memory fails me at this no, moment. No, I think but... you're right. I think you're right. I believe it was Katana, actually. Yeah, very sure, actually. But it's a matchup that we've seen before, you know. And both characters can win, definitely. But it's a question of the neutral. That's where things might be a bit challenged. Because how much, how much of it can Scorpion react to with Teleport? That's the ultimate question. All right, some corner pressure going on. Jump in. <laughs> the That's gonna low. connect. Oh, the, the drop though. I actually would have liked to have seen him nail the combo just to get the breaker out of Mirko, but unfortunately, leaving himself completely punishable. And here comes Mirko with a full punish and three bars of meter stocked. Okay, interrupts with the uh, meter burn. So, okay, jumps in the corner. Nice patience to wait for the float, but uh, unfortunately, because of Putting himself in the corner in this situation, not really an amazing decision, but Mirko, and that's even though chip. he dropped that corner conversion, yeah, even though he dropped that corner conversion, not the end of the world, he's going to take that round anyway. Round two, fight. Now this is quite dangerous, oh wow, oh, wait a minute. we yes, normally yes, say, yes, yes. <laughs> I love we normally say, <laughs> we normally say don't jump against Katana, but then we just see a magical jump in. This is getting dirty. He has been on three bars the entire match. He hasn't had to spend it at all, has he? It's just been completely meatless the whole time. I think he will style on him, pretty sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Once for the parry. I think if he lands a final hit, then we very well might see something. Is Mirko <laughs> saving the bar? I mean, does he just not need to? Gets hit by the NJP, and that I... is where he spends the meter. Okay, finally some zoning. Didn't see any of that the entire match. You know, interestingly, actually, he got hit trying to go for the Hellfire, so he isn't waiting the time route. He's got the Hellfire good to go again. It's almost beneficial that um, Mirko got tagged by that fan. Here comes the pressure, though. The instant air fan predicting a jump, but the read wasn't good. But he's got just a little bit more health. The overhead connects. Mirko, you teleport, aye. and there we go. I should have just muted him with the mid. It was enough damage to take him out, even though he would have done a slide or something. I think historically Mirko has not been afraid to just <laughs> raw teleport in that situation. No, he I'm, doesn't. Absolutely not. I'm fairly certain that's why he didn't do it. Because he was like, you know what, if I try and do a meaty forward one here, and he teleports, I'm dead. <laughs> I think I think he just, honestly, I think he just doubted himself. But I will say, going back to Katana, I really don't agree with this. I think his Johnny Cage was looking far superior in this matchup. Probably. I think the, the, the confidence that he gained was from that last sequence because he was doing some work. We saw some damage. We saw some fans landing. Um, but I think I would have liked the Johnny as well. There's a joke you've made there somewhere, but I won't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay. NJP connects. Katana's going to be good. Taking that first hit bonus is what Kizzazov really wants right there. Are we on the corner? More or less. Yeah, he wants to zone now, I can tell. Absolutely. But I think already Mirko actually showing uh, Kuznetsov that he's not afraid to throw those teleports out as well. So he saw a couple of fans and immediately challenged it. Wow! Meteor Burn teleport off a jump in! That doesn't normally work! That's pretty disrespectful. <laughs> That's as disrespectful as it can get. <laughs> it's good though. I think um, Kuznetsov's taken that first round. If anything, I think morale boosting. He really needs to get well back in this, I suppose. But as I say that, Mirko. Standing one into conversion. Two, jump in three to anti-air. Beautiful stuff from Mirko. Oh, and the crispy forward. I don't think I've ever seen Mirko drop the forward four run cancel. And it is so hard to do yet. It is. He finds a way. 42% off the overhead and the conversion. No, dropping drop it at it. the end. Oh, that hurt. 
<laughs> that that was. That would have been such an incredible sequence. But hang on a minute. Because of here. Fighting back. Not dead yet. I might get a bar out of him or something. Ooh, the patience. Okay. Fortunately, though, the low whiffing yeah. ever so slightly in Mirko. Back into match point. Match point indeed. Both. Very even on bar. Oh, and there's the reaction teleport. Beautiful. One of the matchup changes, really. He's being able to punish the full combo. And again! Dropping the conversion, though. Mirko, uncharacteristic drops we're seeing right here. It's, it's very interesting that he drops his uh, his like easy stuff, his easy conversions, but not like the 4-4 four, four into 2-1-4, which is like a two-frame link. And that's going to be a crucial break. Now, in this situation, this is of definitely in danger, and that's and game over. This should be game to one to fire. Yep. Yep. Just a run pants. Just a run cancel right there, just to keep it guaranteed. And even if the combo didn't kill into restand, the chip damage at the end was absolutely going to take that. So Mirko, very easily moving into grand finals, where he's going to face off against Pariah Zoro. These guys haven't. I don't know if these guys have fought before. They definitely haven't appeared in the top four together. Because uh, this is, I believe, Zoro's first top four. Because um, I believe one week he actually commentated with me. So I think that's the week I'm getting a little bit confused. <laughs> either way, <laughs> we have our grand finals up and coming. Very excited to see it. And we're going to get this coming up as soon as possible, I suppose. But ultimately, Mitsubones, I think we can both agree that I would like to have seen him pick Johnny Cage a little bit longer in that matchup. Definitely Absolutely. seemed to have a better chance there. It was a good game as well. Like It wasn't like he was getting bodied with this Johnny. It was a very good game. Okay, so while we get these guys invited for this grand finals, for the final time of the night, I want to give you guys a little bit of an insight as to what you are watching. This is the ESL EU MKXL Community Cup. Every single Sunday, these guys come together. They play in an online tournament that basically goes across all of Europe and CIS included. We get some different players every single week. Like this week, we've got some new faces in there. As we can say, one of our newest faces in this cup being um, Zoro, and in his first week making top four, he's in grand finals, so very impressive stuff for him. Interesting to see how he does against Mirko, who is basically probably, you could say, the king of these community cups as it stands. Yeah, he is, I think. Uh, he has the right to be called that. <laughs> I, I do believe Mirko currently owns the most wins out of anyone yeah. in the community cups. Shortly followed by K-Top, who was sitting at number two, and I think actually at this point, uh, it's either Vilmarin or H-Dope, I believe, is slightly behind that. But you can definitely say that I think it's H-Dope, H-Dope, K-Top, and Mirko, respectively. The three of them doing incredibly well. Speaking of H-Dope, he is last week's champion. And it was almost entirely Leatherface. There was one matchup in particular where H-Dope decided to go for Alien uh, for like one game. But other than that, it was all Leatherface. And we really enjoyed watching it. Actually, watching those videos back... And just the level of damage and conversion ability where even if Leatherface isn't the most viable character in the game, one hit was guaranteed 40%, which I think if you're going to play a character like Leatherface, that's exactly what you want to do every single time. So it's great to see. Okay, both guys are sitting in the King of the Hill. And in due time, this Grand Finals is going to be good to go. So will we see Kenshi versus Scorpion? Hmm... Good question. Um, we did talk about some of the characters that Zoro knows how to play. I want to say as well, shout outs to Pariah, which is his, I believe his late, uh, a very recent pickup. Uh, Pariah, which is, I guess, the team that backs Zoro. So great to see that. Congratulations to him. And I think it's pretty cool. I think this is the first time we've seen him take the uh, Pariah mantle and here he is in grand final. So got, they've got to be pretty happy with that, I think. And while we wait. Let's get these let's get these name tags changed. So we'll keep Mirko on that side. And Can you pick a stage, please? I just Thank was you. just leaving you. I was just leaving you on the edge, mate. I was just <laughs> leaving you standing. It's all good. There we go. Making sure I've got it. Yeah, this should be an interesting grand final. Well, we've seen Ken I do we've seen Kenshi versus I think we've seen Kenshi versus Scorpion before. Uh, when we saw Derpy, Derpy, I do believe at one point Derpy picked. Um, I think it was uh, Derpy actually picked Kenshi at one point. I think he went to Kung Lao though. I can't quite remember. We've had it, it's kind of weird. We've had so many of these at this point. I have actually lost count, which is kind of funky. But in some in essence, I think it's good. 
means that we have plenty of these cups. Plenty of people playing every single week. There we go. Ah, nice. And, yep. Zoro was the one that joined first, so we're going to keep him on this side. Wow, look at the spam. You should be ashamed of yourself. Alright. Oh, that was a sick combo, though, so I forgive you. Wait, though, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you dropped it, but apparently the game disagrees. The game says otherwise. <laughs> right. So, you've won the tournament. How do you feel? Good. First place, man. Easy. Free. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> you get two res Oh, no. I was going to give you two respects, but oh, I, well. I did, took too long. Not too no bad. respects. But I guess this gives us a good chance to discuss the matchup, right? It's going to be... Provided Zoro decides to stick with Kenshi, I can definitely see this being a matchup that Scorpion... Again, it's one of those things where it's like... All Scorpion needs is one good read on a teleport, even if it's not a dedicated tele like teleport that's unsafe on block. Even if Scorpion goes for a teleport cancelled, right as Kenshi's gone for one of his projectiles or one of his full screen tools, he's still going to be stuck in recovery, right? Exactly. So he gets stuck in... It's almost like Mirko with his teleporting on a good read of this full screen game. He doesn't even need to dedicate to the combo version because he can just whiff it, cancel it, and then whiff punish you anyway, so... Provided Zoro does stick with Kenshi, he's going to have to be really careful of that teleport. Because in a matchup like this, it is a deciding factor. I have actually fought <coughs> against uh, Zoro's Grandmaster historically as well. We know that Zoro can play Sub-Zero. He can play Kotal Kahn. Just to remind you guys, Zoro at Versus Fighting last year had a really, really good showing. I believe he took 4th place. Is it the 4th or 5th? Or th I, I, actually... It was quite I'm pretty a while sure it was top eight. Oh no, absolutely, it was definitely top eight. Um, I'm trying to remember if I fought Zorakamaka or if I fought Zorakamaka or Zoro before I fought Yupe. Anyway, that's a, that's for another time, I suppose. What is ready now is this week's ESL MKXL Community Cup. There are two players left. We have Pariah Zoro or Team Pariah Zoro, I should say. A very recent pickup for them. Very good to see him in these Grand Finals. And I think, even though these are Community Cups, it's definitely impressive to get a Grand Finals in one of these. Because you sometimes have the likes of K-Top, H-Dope. We have players like Nausea. We have players like Derpy, Mirko. There are some good players in these Cups. Absolutely. They're and still stacked. And about 80 people, 86, I believe, entered today. So it is an achievement. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So he is going to be going in for the Possessed Kenshi pick. <clears throat> this is going to be a matchup he's ready for. Uh, I think there's so much... There is so much gameplay of Mirko out there in these cups. There's a lot of data, and especially seeing Mirko face off against Akenshi before, there's a lot of knowledge you can take in there, but ultimately, it's going to come down to how he plays in this best of five set. And immediately, Mirko with the patience, but getting tagged by the NJP. Doesn't even matter that he lost first hit right there. That's a very respectable amount of damage immediately. Now, one thing we have seen Mirko do is um, teleport on reaction to a another teleport. So there is definitely some matchup knowledge. Um, but not blocking actually. Zoro yes. looking incredibly strong. Connects and Ooh. wow! Machine gun round number one. Mirko though sitting on three bars <coughs> of meter. You were talking about the teleport on the teleport reaction on, on Kenshi's and I'm still yet to see it. Like I'm looking for it but maybe I have no doubt. Have to adjust. I have no doubt that we'll see it at some point. Absolutely. Now this is where it's going to be quite dangerous actually. Zoro only just built one bar but in this case I don't think he should spend it. Yeah, challenging Beautiful it with a forward three. three. Yeah, nice challenge. That's going to catch a button press. I think actually a really good wow. coup from Mirko. And just like what an that, end. Mirko. No bar as well. What an A flawless end. victory and retaining three bars of meter. That's Disgusting. a great way to answer back. Oh, we need to jump punch though. Drops oh, it. unfortunate. Yeah, that's a bit of a lag spike. Very aye, unfortunate aye, for aye. Zoro. It's hit behind him. All right. This is now another that's game next... because he has no O-bar anymore. I actually think it would have been better if he could have gone for maybe another combo to get that breaker out of Mirko. He had to end it and push right as Mirko got the stamina back to to break it. So it's actually very beneficial that Mirko kept it. The low's going to be good. Stuff. The reset. Wait, this could... This is a grab away from winning it. Yeah, the mix-up could connect right here. That's Force not going to kill. Grab. But actually, hang on a minute. Explains. Meet and fire. Yes. Yeah. I was just about to say, that meter burn fire might be sufficient to take that, and it is indeed. 
I actually think ultimately that whole thing came down to the fact that Zoro got a good read. He got a really good read on that teleport. And when he tried to punish it with 1-1-1 one, one, one push, Mirko actually tried to break. He just didn't have the stamina. By the time he'd bought, he actually built the stamina to break, the push had already connected and the combo was over. And it was because Mirko had that extra meter, he was able to meet a band teleport and seal the deal right there. That's exactly why I say most... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Team speak delay. Oh, it's, it's a blessing and a curse, I think. Well, I was uh, saying, I think that, that that's just what it came down to. Yeah. So, like I said, the reason I said this is another game now, because Mirko was still having those two bars, and Zora had none, so that scary reversal was not a problem anymore. And we saw him just mop. He was, like, relentless pressuring him, and he took it from there. So let's see what the answer for that pressure is, if he has no bar. Well, I think Zorit, now that's a very important first hit. And I think, as long as he's on block, I love how efficiently he's mixing up the overhead low in conjunction with the teleport. Because it's keeping Mirko not quite sure what option he's going to do on block, you know? So the second he sees the teleport, he's probably sometimes so convinced that an overhead or low special was coming, he's not ready, but that time, he was ready for sure. Now there's disgusting. An anti-air on his teleport with a standing one, that's not easy. That is not easy, ladies and gentlemen. Wake up connects. Mirko though. Again, two bars. Wow! <laughs> not ready for the spear! Standing one into spear. We saw it here first. The stagger and the pressure is so strong for Mirko, but the aye, Annie cross aye, up aye. down two! That's good stuff right there. He's, he got those anti airs now. He got those. Oh, wow! Teleporting on reaction, but actually eating the NJP anyway. Zoro looking really good right there. And Beautiful. that's there it is. a there it even is. better punish. Okay. Respect, full screen. Got some demons on the spe on the screen. Nice patience from Zoro though. Checking the back one after he's seen the Hellfire whiff. I like actually good scout seeing the delayed wake up, and that's when he goes. Ooh, Ooh the teleport is caught off. right before he leaves the ground. That's an expensive teleport. A slide this time. Interesting. And that's, that's game over. That's that. That's game over. You might actually style on him. Yep. Ooh. You were saying. <laughs> into us, into us. <laughs> so I think a big matchup change right here is just Mirko, even though he's getting pressured, again, he is not getting out damaged in any way. Even though Zoro is hitting him so many times, the issue is, is that he's getting tagged once and Mirko is undoing like three different occasions worth of damage where Zoro's hitting him. We're actually yet to see Zoro, I guess, be able to open up Mirko and commit to a meter burn low to launch to get the same kind of damage Scorpion can get. We haven't seen it because he hasn't yeah, the we chance. Did, he, didn't, he didn't do it. Whereas when Mirko touches him, I mean, that's half health. Two, that's it, two touches and you're dead, right? It, it can be difficult to out damage Scorpion. It's, it's actually very hard <laughs> to be yeah. real with you. Definitely one of the hardest hitting characters in the game for no bar without a shadow of a doubt, but i got to agree with this, this, this pick. Um, definitely, I think Zoro's most played character, but... There's no getting around the fact that Kotal Kahn is definitely not the Kotal Kahn he used to be. The back one nerf, very significant. His mid option's not as good. And his ability to pressure, definitely affected by the change. But Zoro, I think going to this, looking good at the moment though. And not having to spend a lot of bar. No punish attempt either. Oh, the jump in! No, it's very interesting. Zoro was... Mm -hmm. I was about to say, I wonder if he was looking for a teleport. And that's why he didn't press anything after the uh, spear right there. Yeah, there was a lot. Of, there was a lot of um, respect right there. There you go. Take down, punish. Yes, yeah, the matchup knowledge, man. It's the tech. When you play Scorpion for as long as this guy has, when you play Scorpion as long as this guy has, you've got the knowledge. And <laughs> just minute. walking into the spear. Yeah, two, two, two. That's gonna be another round. Oh, it's it's just so satisfying. I'm I'm not sure if I'm only one, but seeing a Scorpion like so cleanly do his stuff is so satisfying to me. I think Hellfire is definitely like top three characters to to watch when it comes to fun. This character is so fun to watch. The max range forward one. Mirko tried to challenge, but pays the price. Massive that was almost a wood punish. Ooh, trying to punish for standing three. Mirko does know a thing or two about this matchup, okay. I think. Doesn't quite get the cancel this time. Good block, yeah. and there's the That's takedown. Guaranteed. I think guaranteed 11%. Yeah. Just take it. 
I think Mirko is completely... It's almost like a trade-off, right? If you get a meterless 50-50 as War God, you get the same kind of damage. But this actually could be the tournament. Has we to break. break. Yep. Okay. Yeah, one touch, Keep I think. One, one touch at this point. One touch at this point is going to take that round. It's just one teleport, realistically. Another that's punish. Another, another, yep. And that's game. Already, wait. You had two bars. You could have done more stuff. <laughs> well... Uncharacteristically, Mirko's going to keep things simple this week. Yeah. And he's going to end it early. Very, very, I think, breezingly taking this tournament. I think I agree with the War God pick for sure. But to be honest, I think Mirko just did a really, really good job of scouting when he was going to go for overhead or low sword. And every single time, that did not go unpunished. You, you see so often, it's so often you see Kill Khan players get away with that without it being punished because it is very hard to punish it's not the easiest thing in the world to deal absolutely with absolutely not but if you've got a guaranteed you know when it comes to the reversal system of this game and how if you're doing the reversal and buffering it you'll get it on the <coughs> first frame a takedown that punishes both the low and overhead that is going to be a very very important tool for a matchup like this That's why I was like looking for it and I was pretty quietly because if you don't know the matchup, he could still do stuff pre patch Like he could have played pre patch Kotal Khan just mixing and mixing and mixing. And if you don't know that the character has gaps and you can option select them basically, or that uh, his overhead sword, for example, is punishable. I saw Mirko try to punish it with a 4 3 or a standing 3, didn't work. So he went from that point only with the easy reversal with the guaranteed 11%, which was very I smart. Think it yeah, it still worked really well. I know that when Kurt Khan has you in the corner, that standing three is a much more attractive punish because there's less pushback on those options. Um, but I, I do like the fact that Mirko went, you know what? Even if I can't get a full combo, I think if I can get the slide takedown, bear in mind, slide's got a lot of hit frames now, right? Because they changed it ages ago. So even though you're not getting, even though you're not getting a ton of damage for a punish, you're getting the setup. And the setup is how Mirko kills people in this game. Yeah, from that point on, it's it's a grab, it's a 4-2, it's a 4-4, four, four, it's a back 3. A lot of stuff to be afraid of. So yeah, just take the slide. You're plus after it, so let's go. Well, major congratulations to Mirko. I know he actually, um, unchar again, I say uncharacteristically a lot because we haven't seen it much. Mirko actually didn't make top 4 last week. He lost to Anguilla. So, although he ended a tournament, that was the first time he did not make top 4. But I think rectifying that this week... His competition were in the bracket, but Mirko once again reigning supreme. We can't forget Zoro really coming in this week and playing well, but Mirko is just looking incredibly dangerous at the moment. Very hard to beat, um, and I think that's the reason he is the most dominant player in these cups right now. I'd like to see someone really take it to him one week. I definitely think it's possible. It is possible, like you said. Um, he has lost last week. You just got to step up and yeah, end him. Your mission, go ahead and end his ring. I think it's possible, and I think we'll see it one week. But it was not this week. This week, Mirko takes the crown once again. So huge the congratulations. Dream champion. So, guys, I believe that is the end of this week's Mortal Kombat X Community Cup. Same time next week. Every single Sunday evening, we like to do these. And I believe the last three tournaments have been won by Ktop, H-Dope, and Mirko. So the three most dominant players have respectively sort of almost taken it in turns to win these tournaments. So who knows what we're going to see next week. We might see a new champion altogether. I'd like to see that. Fingers crossed. They're mixing way, it up a bit. Oh yeah, definitely. That's going to wrap things up this week, guys. Uh, I'm actually not going to be streaming after this because I've got to be up early tomorrow. So as is the way, I've got to end things early on. But thank you all for watching. Shout out to Zoro for making Grand Finals for his first time this week. Really good seeing him here. And a shout out to Team Pariah actually for being in the Twitch chat as well. I see you. Don't think I didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you the same time next week. Thank you, Mitsuones, for stepping in this week. It's always good having you in. Always and a pleasure, man. I'll catch you all around. I'll see you next week. Take care.